Hey, this is Matt Wormer from Brody Precision. In this video, we are taking a look at a feature that's available to us in our Jaces that will make your life a little bit easier when it comes to getting your networks, uh, 485 networks, up and running and uh, knowing what COM port you should be using and the name of it, whether or not it's being used by something else. Um, it's a little bit buried in our services in Niagara, but... Uh, not too difficult to find and uh, has a little bit of value. So let's jump in and take a look. All right, so if you're at all familiar with using a driver, let's see if I open up my drivers here and go into my backnet and then go into my backnet com and then my network, you can see I'm using two MSTP ports here. I've got wired RS-45 uh, devices that are being brought into the Jace. And because of that, I've got two ports here that are making that happen, making that interface between the physical hardware on the Jace that's talking uh, to the 45 uh, trunk and the software that's actually running BACnet and making everything talk. So if I open up one of those ports, you'll notice I need to tell the driver, and in this case the port, what the actual port is. We use a name. It's typically com something. You'll also run into this if you're talking to um, the serial port on a JACE from your computer. So if you're using a serial shell mode or something like that, you'll be familiar with using com ports. And um, sometimes maybe you don't know what that port number or name should be in your JACE um, that you're using. And there's a handy little tool that's available to you. It won't tell you exactly which one you should be using, but it'll give you an idea of what the names are available to you um, in Niagara. So if I open up services and I go to my platform services, and then I uh, double click on the serial port service here, what you will find is that you have listed out every COM port that's available on your device. So if I open up the COM1, you will see that I have uh, this COM port 1, and it's being used right now by BACnet. And then we've got a whole bunch of other information that you can sort of ignore, but this is handy for two reasons. One, you can see what that COM port name is, um, so you know it's either COM1 or COM2 that you want to be communicating on, depending on which physical port you're plugged into, and whether or not that port is already being used by something else. If you're going on to an existing job and you're logging into a JACE for the first time and uh, you don't know exactly what's going on or what's where or that kind of thing, um, this is a nice place to start to get an idea of where that COM port is being used and um, the name of it and uh, if you have any available ones to use. Because if this isn't uh, grabbed by a piece of software already, in this case the BACnet network, if it's um, available, it will just say none here. And you know that you have options for adding in additional devices or components, whatever you need to do um, on your given job. So like I said, quick, easy one this week. Uh, hopefully that's helpful for you. Um, I think if you're installing a JACE, nine times out of 10, you're doing some kind of physical interface to uh, an RS-45 network, maybe even a 232 network uh, way, way back in the day. So thanks as always for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. If there are other little things that you'd like to know more about, uh, maybe that could work as quick little tips like this, uh, leave them down in the comments below. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.